In this demo, we will be highlighting the instant recovery for first class disks. Firstly, let's show you some good data. And here we have a very simple database application using MySQL with some very important data in an accounts table. So as you can see here, we've got names and we've got the balance for those accounts. Probably shouldn't be showing you this, but here we are. Also, you can see here that in our K10 dashboard, we have some policies that have just recently run against that application. Now, if we flip to hacker mode or dark sunglasses and hoodie, we can now simulate a malicious activity, a ransomware attack, ultimately an accidental deletion or an accidental mistake configuration issue. And what this is going to do here with a simple script is going to encrypt that data. You can see now that we have name, we have our balance, but it doesn't read as nicely as maybe it did before. And remember, this is on production, on a production application that Kubernetes is going to keep us running. It has no idea what's happened to the, to the data with inside of our, our application or our persistent volume. So we head on over to our K10 dashboard. And you, as you can see here, we have a snapshot and we have an exported copy of our backup that lands on our Veeam repository. I'm going to choose instant recovery and overwrite existing. That's just going to be the quickest way to get things back to their last known good configuration, if you will, including the data set that is inside of the application. So we want to get back to where we first showed you that nice list with the accounts. So what we're going to see now is that interaction between K10 and VBR. And what we're going to first see, let's just take a look at the existing pods that we have within that critical MySQL namespace. So you can see here that it's been up for 43 minutes. Everything is good apart from that data set that's in there. So we expect to see that change shortly as well. Now over in the VBR console, we can see that there's an instant recovery job that is just kicked off and at this point we're checking if vpower nfs data store is mounted onto our vSphere hosts now what this does is this is confirming that we can send or create a data store out of our vbk files so in this instance we have a data store already provisioned here in our vSphere environment with the computer name that we're using and underneath that, you can see that we have a folder in there called critical hyphen MySQL, which happens to be the exported restore point within our K10 backup job, ultimately lands in a VBK format. You might have also seen that it's now waiting for that migration. I'm going to come back to that. So at this point in time, if we were to dive into that PVC and connect a MySQL store to that, we would see good data again. But what we've asked it to do is we're not just restoring the PVC, we're actually restoring the whole application. So this application here is we're now currently terminating and we're gonna now bring up a new MySQL store from the restore point and we're going to get that back into a running state so that we can then connect into that and show you hopefully that we've got some good data back. We've got all of those names and we've got our account balances that again, I probably shouldn't be showing you. Okay, so a couple more seconds. Okay, now we can start connecting in and just proving that the good data is back to where it needs to be. So let's connect into our, our MySQL client and connect to our, our MySQL store. And let's double check that we have some good data. Okay, mission accomplished. We have that. However, at this point, yes, our application is back up and running. Yes, we have our data accessible. But we have two options here. We still have that the data is actually running from our backup repository. What we need to do is make a decision. Do we want to migrate that to production or do we want to stop publishing that? We want to send it back to our, our enterprise ready storage, shared storage that is much, much faster than our, our backup storage. But the most important part to, re to consider here is that we're going to do it live. So the application is still very much up and running and we're going to leverage storage vMotion underneath, which is a vSphere technology that enables us to move the blocks of data in the background back into its original uh, data store. So here you can see we're relocating the virtual machine. You might see FCD or first class disk. That is because it's connected to that virtual machine. 
you saw that it didn't take very long at all to, to make that happen.